we'll just do a quick uh, shake out the flight, make sure everything's okay. We'll do a quick motor test here. My name is Maruti Akela. I'm in uh, aerospace engineering. I'm on the faculty here. We do controls, autonomy, and robotics, and anything and everything that's got to do with uh, letting them fly efficiently and autonomously. So what you see here, obviously, are a whole range of vehicles. They are different sizes and shapes, as you can see. And uh, not the motors, but the, but the parts themselves, they're all um, so even the casing has been 3D printed here. And uh, the pilot boards that you see, these are what are the brains and the computers that fly these vehicles. And uh, these are again designed in-house. We stay away from big ones because, as I said, we want to fly indoors. And we want to fly indoors when, you know, momentum is such a big thing. So we don't want anything bigger than this. Even this is sometimes too big to our comfort. But... Uh, but you know, the good good thing is that we have this net. So Dr. Achikmeshek, one of the things he did was uh, he acquired this camera system. And what that camera system does is, uh, again, you know, it, it, it tracks objects. It's a motion capture system. And we don't use it for flying our vehicles, but we use them to give us a sense of how well the controllers on these vehicles are performing. So it gives us a, an independent performance check. And so the other big push we are doing, not just going fast and doing it indoors, is that we want to be able to integrate vision that you can use any spectrum. It's hyperspectral, so it's visible spectrum are invisible, so that could be ultrasonic, infrared, any, any, any wavelength. But have that on board and use vision as a way to guide you, to give you a sense of what environment you're operating and, and be able to fly.